A number of things are being blamed on the recent mass shootings in Texas and Ohio, and lawmakers are scrambling, or at least they say they are, to address concerns. Yeah, many point to laws as the root of the problem, specifically the ones that legalize weapons often used in mass shootings. Here's tonight's point of view with Otis Sanford. Like a world-famous contortionist, Republican leaders from the White House to the State House are twisting themselves into pretzels in responding to deadly mass shootings without getting at the real problem, high-powered assault weapons and tons of ammunition in the hands of civilians. One by one, Republicans who are willing to come out of hiding to discuss the recent carnage talk about mental illness, crude video games, and other things as the primary causes of mass killings. At least President Trump swallowed his pride long enough Monday to condemn racist hate and white supremacy that spurred the shooter to kill 22 innocent people in El Paso. But the president also brought up video games and mental illness as the chief causes of the killings. And he took no responsibility for his own hateful and racist rhetoric. Meanwhile, in Nashville Monday, Governor Bill Lee appeared to give lip service to more gun control legislation including background checks, waiting periods, and red flag laws. But the governor was more interested in greater cybersecurity that would identify potential shooters online before they can act. All of these political leaders are missing the main point. Assault rifles and high-capacity magazines should once again be banned, period. If only our lawmakers would muster the courage to do the right thing and outlaw these killing machines and stop placing the blame on the media, mental illness, and video games. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.